It is now close to two years since the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting was held here in Kampala, but those who may have misused the money are not yet off the hook. The Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee is set to scrutinize the recently released Auditor General's report on Chogam and about 12 ministers under whose docket money has not been accounted for are on the firing line. In earlier years where money was being spent in the name of Chogam also will be pulled out and know that the total budget could be maybe a 400 billion of this how much really did the work. After the exercise we know the wastage and who is responsible for that portion. Speaking to journalists, Committee members led by Chairman Nathan Nandalma Favi asked President Yoweri Museveni to act. You don't need to wait for a minister to be taken to court. If you see he's corrupt, fire him. So why do you keep the people who are tainted? And those with the right hands will probably have to pay the ultimate price. This oversight committee, which is dominated by opposition MPs, has been reinforced by six NRM MPs to properly handle stubborn ministers. We are now calling upon of them to show themselves exit before we show it to them. And I don't expect this time around for anybody to jump into our way. This time we are much steady first. All the grounds have been covered. The ministries that received Chogam funds are finance that dished out the money, works and transport that catered for infrastructure and transport, Local government for beautification, foreign affairs for protocol, events and immigration, and the prime minister's office. Others are trade and industry, water and environment, gender, labor and social development, information and communication technology, and health. The responsible ministers then at show value for over 255 billion shillings spent on Chogam in 2007. The report also highlights instances of money waste and cases of lapse in compliance with financial management regulations and procurement laws and urges the authorities to take action. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.